from near, far, young and old. People of all shapes, ability and gender. Welcome to another analysis stream here at the GX and Streaming Emporium. We are going to have a lovely time today. Um, last night, Soldier, you had its second Daredevil event um, for Guilty Gear Strive. That is not the thing we wanted to open. And I cannot wait, honestly. It will be glorious um that is also not what i wanted to open gx and no 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 please just give me give me my channel i just i just want to be able to monitor things <laughs> okay we managed it we are fine we 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 have my channel open now on the side good that is very nice um lovely phone you can get the fuck over there we don't need you so we're gonna be having a look at the top three um so let's first of all let's have a quick look at this bracket um actually let's have a look at the uh results first um so if we go into analysis mode, right, let's get in the Carlos mode actually, so you can still see me a little bit here. We have Slash winning, Latif getting second, and Kurokic on third, and then Uriel, Levin, Gamba, Sandos, Moib. Um, a great top eight, honestly. And um, actually, have they updated the standing shirt? I would think so, yeah. Hmm. I would think that would put your religion over skull, but part of me says that this hasn't been updated, but in, nah, if Kurokic is up here, I think it has been updated. Um, good. So yeah, this is the current standings with Latif, Skull, and Slash um, qualifying uh, for the final in February. So, that's how it goes. Let's boot up the bracket here on Smash GG. Thank you. So, in a winner's final, we have Latif versus Slash. Grand finals, Slash versus Latif. And in loser's finals, we have a match that I really much, really enjoyed. Um, that is Latif Kurokic. Um, so, that, that's that's always fun. So, that that's what we're going to be watching today. Um... And I, I'm excited. I, I can't wait to have a look at some of the stuff with you all. Um, because Latif and Slash have been fighting a lot, right? Like, all the Daredevil events so far has been won by Latif, and the one Latif didn't win, Slash won. Um, so the, the going has been like, interesting, and they have been fighting each other a lot. So I'm honestly... Interested in looking in here and see how there's some adaption. But again, let's remember, this is like very late at night for the people in Saudi Arabia, right? Um, for us here, that was at like 2.48. That's like, that's 9.48 and we are in plus one uh, from GMT, I think. Um and UAE is plus three, so that is like almost midnight for them. Uh, which I'm gonna be honest, I don't play optimally at midnight. I just just gonna straight out say that, right? That that is a rough thing to have to deal with. So th that may actually play in here, but that is how it goes in online tournaments. But let's jump into it. Let's boot the analysis stream and let's watch the winners' finals of Latif vs. Slash. Um, so yeah, they both came here in winners. Uh, they have both, well, of course, for the winners' finals, right? Um, and had good runs. Uh, like previously, Slash had two three O's in a row. Latif also had a three O before this over Leffen. Um. I love the air movement to get out. Kill Eddie, knock down Sato, block a gold burst. Yeah. Okay, that's the burst. Yeah, let's see. Slash wants to get out of the pressure here, it feels like. 
no overhead empty jump up with that RC uh, into um, the overhead case. Uh -huh. Yeah, there are poses out. You can't be doing that slash take the 2H, take the combo. Yeah. And the amorphous. Actually, something I'm curious about here is that was um, a pose out before or after slash jumped? So, okay, this is like actually kind of hard to see. It looks to be very simultaneous. BRC run under, love seeing it. Doesn't get the ANC here there. Yeah, in the air. Uh, yeah, okay, on the landing, Slash is putting down the oppose, I think, to probably preempt a... Latif is putting it down to probably preempt a dolphin or something, but it also works against the jump Slash. Okay, okay, because that is interesting to see whether or not, like, that was a read or whatever, and I think let Slash tried to bait something there, but Latif used the response that actually hit both what Latif was guessing and what Slash actually did. Looking dolphins. Hmm. Okay, I love this getting out of the corner this way from Latif. Um, like this is very interesting. So he gets put in the corner. We are under pressure. And so that's a blocked heavy dolphin. That's minus five, I think. Minus five or minus seven, don't remember. Um. Puts out the peers, puts in the oppose, so he can like leave risk free and slash times that hit to hit immediately as opposed to ending, um, which is honestly really smart. Like that kind of also requires some rhythm, right, of understanding, because it wasn't opposed like getting hit and doing the response hit. It's like just it disappearing. Okay, staying in the corner. Oh, there's the orca. Blocked. Side switch. 6k, okay. Yep. B May has the command normal overhead, right? That you also have to feel. Um, it, it's a hard thing to manage. But he's a pretty scary character to, to deal with uh, in that regard. Going in, yep. And here, baits the burst, gets the throw. I think, yeah, deliberately for a knockdown, blocks the can opener. Okay, Executor X to fill the eddy gauge, yeah. Just, okay, this is me being curious how that looks, because we see here the eddy gauge is like essentially low, jumping out the command grab. Frog hits using the last bit of the eddy gauge, and then he goes into the super here, and yeah, okay, just immediately fills up. Okay. I actually hadn't had any look at like how that worked. Um but yeah, no. That that is a strong decision. Okay, kind of now. Oh my god. Going up here, like how the fuck did he actually open up slash? So he's going in with the six yeah, so Pierce is happening. He's 2 king in the middle of Pierce. There's the 5D that is blocked. Red RC jumping up and then low. Okay, okay. Okay, I think Slash was tr not pr not pressing anything. Uh, just probably too slow to block. And tries to kill Eddie. I, so I love this. this let's see if you abusing the fact that Slash is always trying to kill Eddie. So like, going in here, puts down like, Eddie as a decoy with the peers, isn't following up himself, but is instead using the um, drill there. That is really smart. Because it doesn't put himself at risk, um, while still kind of filling the delays in between the pierces. I really like watching Latif play. He's his Sasso is very, very interesting. Let's 
6p for the round start. Okay. So counter hit, like slash trying to get out. Oh my another burst baited from the teeth. Like what the fuck? And here we see Amorphous. Not entirely killing because me has fucking guts. She's very, very like powerful. Um the thing you don't really consider, but she is very uh, strong. Okay. Oh throw in the middle of 3k. That's really goddamn cool. By using the BLC slowdown. Yeah, 2s. Sandwiching. Just staying with the lows. N no overhead thrown in there. There's a throw from Latif. Okay, trying to escape and Latif is just staying on the left of Slash and getting that, uh, I think, jump Slash. Okay, PSE up. Okay, trade. Gold burst. Execute X. Immediately. I think that was mostly to place down Eddie close to Slash. To keep Slash in the corner. Because the Gold Burst shot Slash in there. And yeah, Gold Burst from Slash. One eliminated the Eddie and kind of took away all of Latif's advantage. And gave Slash meter. Going over. Okay, just close slashing. Putting in frame traps. 6p. I mean, Latif really knows when he can uh, try and press out. That's the command grab. That shouldn't kill, but he's flying over it and, like, ready for something. Okay, no, just medium. Slash deliberately jumping up over the frog to not get sandwiched here. Going for the overhead there. 6p. Bec the reason Slash is using these 6p's a lot is that... Um, Latif has been using the fast slash to get out of the pressure, right? So slash is throwing in the six piece to one discourage the fast slashes, but also to beat them. Alright, and two P takes it for Latif. God the good seventy second rounds. This is a good game. Love seeing it. Yeah, go again. So, this is where that uh, slash starts turning it around, I think. Um, yeah, because yeah, it goes 3 2 to slash. So, going over, jump slash, no anti air. It's, it's very hard to anti air when you hunt that. Like, you just like have the arrow at the bottom of the screen to navigate by. Okay. He's very Latif is very good on summoning Sato to ensure that the gauge keeps going back up. Okay, poses out. That's the air attack. You are in the corner counter hit. Get up for a big combo that is essentially burst safe. Break the wall with the beach ball. Um there's an amorphous? Oh my god. That feels like a waste of meter. Okay, and here we go get the kill. With like yet another burst save thingy. Uh like uh, Maze 2 H is very burst safe. Okay, get in. Oh, trying to kill Eddie, but Let's see if cancelled it into one of the Eddie specials, so Eddie didn't move forward. Okay, the two us. Yeah, okay. What are we? So we're on full screen. Doesn't approach. Opposes in. Dust over. 
Slash defense here is very good. Oh my god, run up, just block, and then punish. Jumping in with, I think he's... <laughs> Probably not a safe jump, that's not necessary against Sasu. Uh, uh, but then going for the low after the over hit that didn't connect. Kills Eddie. Oh my god. It's the fucking dust. Block that 5 page. Blocks the dust. Blocking low. Slash's defense is so good here. Yeah, that's like, there's no. <gasps> Goes under the. G <laughs> so my poor slash here, slash does the fucking greatest thing I've ever seen. So let's see if goes over, gold burst slash is three king, which lets him low profile the gold burst PRC for easier timing, but no, still doesn't get the fucking combo, fucking rip slash here. Oh man, that is an unfortunate combo drop. Because he had that victory like in his hands there. Kill both Eddie and <laughs> hit uh, Latif. Dolphin is very powerful in this matchup. Uh, like, it is very weak to oppose, of course, but if it hits Eddie and Sato at the same time, it's so powerful. Like, kill the Eddie gauge, get advantage. What the fuck? Oh, um, sorry, okay, so, we have Latif here at a good 60% health, you know, 60, 65% health, yeah, that, a 2S is opened up, upwards drift RC, charge 6H, get him, not even a wall splat there, Mace fucked up and I love it. Slash takes a game. God. May is so fucked up. I love it so much. Mm. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Game four. I love it because this is one of the like few uh, back and forth sets we had. Um yeah, uh, it's not back and forth, back and forth, it's just back and forth. Uh. Okay, kill that Eddie. Man, Slash is very deliberate about killing Eddie, and that is so, so powerful here. Up, oh, runs into 2S, gets a burst. So, I actually really like this burst from Slash. Um, because one... Sato is kind of hard to burst against, as he can kind of combo and mid-range. So, we have Latif in the corner here. Okay, we're moving in. Oh, we are getting counter hit. One, a counter hit combo, extra deadly, right? But also, Latif is up against the wall, right? This is slash win condition, essentially, if you can open up Latif in the corner. So, we burst here. Kill Eddie, get that gauge down. You are back in the corner. We are kind of at advantage here. And there we go. Now the May gaming starts. And okay, that's the burst. Right before the 2 H hit, and it would have been burst safe. So let's see if timed that burst very carefully. Upwards RC for the charge 6 H. And boom, and boom, boom, boom. Wall stick, sending the beach ball. May gaming. Love it. Okay, and here we see, yep, gets the back throw, into, wait, what the, f that's so cool, by Latif, what the fuck? Okay, so, let's see if here, okay, Eddie is behind you, going in for a throw, he's navigating Eddie right now, and then letting go of P to get the Pierce, so it like combos, that's so, so cool, suddenly gets 6k here. Wow, that's so cool, Latif. What the fuck is this man on about? Sato's so cool. Okay, 6p the dolphin. Just 6p, bro. Or sis. I, I don't judge. 
Oh, he kills... Slash fucking kills Eddie while Eddie's off screen. That's like an off screen kill. That That's like what audiences always hate. Gets Eddie Gage back, sending him out with a pierce and a drunkard shade. We're going up. Goes fucking backwards and kills Eddie with the jump age. Slash, what the fuck? I, I need to make a slash killing Eddie compilation, yeah. The actual fuck. Going up, 2 age. Fucking. Okay, we are in a sandwich, but again, Latif is not coming close. He's using the range there to not get counter hit 5 age. Yeah, because he was so far away, I think Slash maybe could have comboed with a fast dolphin, but didn't for the better frame data. Oh, well, the better unblocked frame data, right. I want the plus frames. Um, now we are in the corner. Slash's risk is building up. Jump over. Kills Eddie once again. Oh my god. It's the 5 pns here. Going over side switch blocks. Using the 2H to land quicker. But still gets take there. I love the small movement thing from Slash. Just going in there. Trying to hit the hit. Going in here. Jump to aging to land quicker. So Slash has time to block. Oh my god. These players are really playing at another fucking level. And I love seeing it. It does stop. Oh, gets anti by the frog. In... Just block. Tries to punish, but no counter hit. Gets the overhead kiss. We are breaking the wall with the combo here. That is essentially burst save. It's not much you can do. We get a positive bonus. Oh, counter hit 2S into the 2S. Doink, doink. And you are quite almost dead. Oh my god. May is so, so, so scary. Jumping... Oh, was that a super PRC from uh, Latif? I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah it looked like the startup of Amorphous into the PRC. That's really cool. Okay. And here we go. Kill Eddie with the 2P block, a gold burst punish. <laughs> fucking Slash is so fucking good. It's amazing to see. I I love the cat. Isuk Isuki Midori is following the Salty EU channel. Well, thank you, Deku, for following. I hope you achieve your dream of becoming the world's greatest hero someday. Well, no, that's part of the intro. You will. Okay, good. Kills Eddie once again. Counter hit to us. Latif has actually been very good at zoning, kind of, with um, the pressure. Yeah, punishes the landing there with the command grab. Coming out of the ground. There's a frog. Get the grab. Knock down. Gets the pierce. And that's the kill with the frog. And this is... Not final round yet. Um, going in. Kill. Oh my god. Counter poking Latif's attempts at getting out so well. Sandwich. We just need to stand for a little longer. Oh, gets hit by the dust. And there's the Executor X to reset the Eddie gauge. And the mix can keep going. Drill, back dashes the command grab, gets the counter hit, and the orb RC that kills Eddie. And here we are, bouncing the wall. Okay, let's see if it's saving the burst. Not using it now, I think. Yeah, 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 counter hit Dolphin 2 as it kills. Okay, good, good. So, final round here. Oh my god, rounds are counter hit 2 as. Jump page, jump slash, blocks the burst. Chuck on again in the corner. Charge 6H, guard break. 2S hits. 
back dash to P and then here's the kill I think. Yep, dolphin, 5H, dolphin. Good stuff. A perfect for Slash to finish him off here. What, what, what can you say? Like, did you realize Slash is very good at this game? Um, so now we are moving on to the loser's final side of things. Um, where we see... Uh, one of my favorite players of all time. Uh, back in analysis mode. We are full screening this. We got Kuroki. Uh, sadly doesn't win here. Takes third place at the tournament. He is 8-1 at this point. Um, actually, let's have a look at that. Because we are down here in losers. Let's uh, have a look. Where the fuck did Kuroki get taken out? Uh, Apparently. Arifu kills Kurokic in round three in Kurokic's second match. Uh, and Latifton kills Arifu. Uh, so down in losers. We see a... Kurokic here. 3 0 Neos. 3 one Fisian. Beating Warrior by Saint. Sinaru. Simp. Taking out Smoip. Gamba. Uriel Legion. And then facing Latif. What a run. Man, Kurokic is so good. Get to open up by Pierce. So here we see Latif getting some Latif rounds, right? Where Latif is dominating. But again, it always feels scary to pressure um, Potemkin, right? Like, th there's no feeling of respite in any situation, even when you are on the offense. At least that's how I feel. Um, oh my god. Frame trap there. Or punishing the 5p at least. Uh, Media close slash. Jumping up. Dunk. BSC forward. Close slash. Because yeah, Latif was probably jumping or pressing a button. Uh, as he expected a command grab. There's the Mega Fist. Nope, you can't. Six ping Mega Fist is hard, and here's the Heavenly Park Buster, and that's the goddamn kill. <laughs> oh, Kurokic, my angel. Oh, and now Latif is reminded of the previous match. <laughs> Round start 6p, love it. Sit down, pray. Sandwiching and there's the command grab from Latif. <laughs> Two as in. On summons. <laughs> Pose into frog. Dust and there's the mega fist. The moment Kurokic saw the dust. Blocks and mega fist out. And midi close slash. Mega Fist Ford, Red RC, JK, Jump Cancel, and YRC from Latif. Okay, and there's a fast slash counter head. Kurikis is in the corner and getting pressured. We have now seen a 39 second round. Okay, jumps to command grab. Eddie is out here covering for Sato's opening. Oh my god, the 6H to try and get some space. Jump slash there. Right, it's, let us let us figure out if that's actually true. Dust loop. This is this is part of what we do here. We don't know everything, so let's learn. Sato, there we go. Smooth. Yeah, 5H, can open on 6P, 6K, yeah, 6H. Um, the fact that the 6H isn't high is really weird to me, but, um, yeah. The 2K is so cool. Yeah, JP, oh, JP is the 3 hit attack. Okay, JS is that, and the chain is the. 
jump page. Okay. Okay. And jump those to still. Okay, okay. That's really funny. That's very funny. Because, yeah, that is very much that angel goat thingy. Okay, JP. Good, good. Let's get back in the match. Th this is... We check stuff, so we learn, right? Drill and break the wall with the 6H for... How much damage is that actually, like, unscaled? So, his 5D, right? That's usually, like, charged is 50. That is 65 damage, actually. 65 damage is pretty goddamn good for a normal. Doink, doink, doink. 2P. It, oh my god, the tick throw there, but nope, that's the kill. I like that Latif was like, yeah, you can use your burst. You should burst here. You should, you should fucking burst here. No, okay, I'm killing you. Blocks the 5D. Backdashes to 2S. Okay, Mega Fist. And that's the burst. Okay, okay. Run and yeah, get the command grab. Now we have Crew Kitchen in the corner. Just took a command grab. What I was see. Midi 5P into a pose. Waiting for a response there. And like, I think Latif was deliberately staying up. Probably in Kara Buster range, but not in actual Buster range. Oh, PRC under the Mega Fist. Counter hit 2H. This is a good combo, I think. Yeah. 6H. Oh, just not in time. Okay. Boink. Sending in the Executor X. And the Drill for the kill there, yeah. And I think that was just Kurokic trying to actually like... Okay, I blocked the super. Okay, Drills are out. Block super. Oh no, no. The Drill is... The Drill is low, isn't it? No, no, the Drill is all... So he must have just tried to do something. Pierce is also all... Okay, everything is all... Wait, isn't... Hmm. Damned Fang. Oh, it's called fucking Damned Fang? That's so cool. Huh. Okay, so the only lows are actually... Um, Sato's normals. That's interesting. Well, we're learning something. See, this is why Dustloop is a very powerful resource. There's no lows to fear from Eddie or the special moves. Only Sato can do lows. Or highs. The mix is entirely from Sato. And that's actually very powerful and crucial to know. Because I didn't, I thought that Vital was at least low or the drill were. So I think that is a powerful thing to know, so you aren't afraid of those. You just have to focus on S Sato. Block high. Slide hit, get knocked down. Landing blocking. Counter hit, Mega Fist. And that's the burst. Let's see. Doesn't want to get in the corner, doesn't want to take the final hit there. That's a, a good place to burst because you know that Kuroki is coming close due to him being in the Mega Fist, right? Oh, PRC and counter hit. Opens with the 5D. And that's the 2H. Damn, damned Fang is such a cool name. Block slow, there's still a guard break though. In. Garuda Impact, you are moving backwards. Oh, that slide hit was just a bit too early. Oh, gets hit with the 5D. And Executor X. Doesn't kill, but there's an Eddie Ball coming. Going in. Just drilling. Trying to chip here. 
X extra to X again. Oh my god, going lows, low, and 5D uh, when he gets the 2k hit. And the like, oppose was out. Good stuff. Blocks the slide head, gets guard broken, tries to anti here. Oppose, that is a way you anti a Mega Fist. Mega Fist is massively disjointed, so it's very hard to actually counter in the air. Um, I struggle as that with ex with that as Axel a lot, um, so I, I get it. it. It's a struggle. And Kuroki is just walking backwards in the corner. I respect it. Uh, blocking, blocking high and ah, oh, probably maybe got a fuzzy jump or something there. Um, get hidden jump frames. Okay, peak pierce hits. We are now in block. Low, red RC, kill. Yeah. Perfect. Man, why is this game talking about me so often? <laughs> so I think now we're gonna see the game um, Kurukic takes. Because I, I, I'm interested in that, because Kurukic is a very... Fun player to watch. 2H. Jumps over the slide head. Gets to jump P and there's 6P into Heat Knuckle. You are on fire. You are thrown in the corner. Mega Fist. Oh, Hammerfall Cancel. 6K. Backwards Mega Fist. 2D. 6K. Flick. That's a counter hit. Garuda is jumped. 2P. Sandwiching. Kuroki is just blocking. Oh, there's the fucking side switch with the invite to help or break the law. It's 2H. Garuda once again. Two, 5K 2D. Garuda. Two, 5K 2D again. Hammerfall. Red RC forward. Jumping. Bot Stomp a bit too far away. Hammerfall over. 2P. Let's see if he's trying to escape the corner here now. Blocks the 5D. And 2P, oh, our second one doesn't connect. This was just too far away. Kurokic just like needs one little sliver of health and he gets it with the Mega Fist. Okay, okay, okay. And I like trying to figure out what Kurokic is thinking here. Like, oh, surround start 6H. What a move. Because, yeah, Latif has actually been very passive on round starts. Doesn't want to get hurt or killed, right? Looking high, Garuda. 2D, oh, 2S, fast slash, poses out, trying to kill um, Eddie in travel, but didn't work out. Dame Twang, and we're on the right side, you are in the corner, jumping, that 5H was not close enough, you are now in there, and there's a pierce while you were trying to jump, you are getting wall broken with the ex Executor X. That's such a cool name. It's from Plus R, I think. Uh, Jasper Valkyrie uh, shall <laughs> make me aware of that. Going in. Yeah, it's the damned thing again. Going down. PSC. That's Drotek. Run in. Five piece. Oh, just at the edge of uh, Mega Fist, which was a smart move. But Kurokic was smarter and PRC to get the command grab. 2P gets gold bursted. Executor X. Blocked. FD'd. Yeah, Kurokic needs to FD here to not get chipped out. Which is what uh, Latif is just trying to do. Sending it in. Running in. 5D. Kurokic was blocking low all the time. So that 5D hit. Especially because Latif has mostly been doing like 2K, 2D. Like 2K, 2Ds. Uh, 2k and the, like rarely does it as the first move 5d blocked here we see because Kurokic can do it but usually it's in the middle of strings right it's not the first thing Latif opens with okay jumps to Damned Fang Damned Fang PRC trying to do that uh, PRC uh, with throws OS but didn't work as he actually PRC'd a hit throw, which very much sucks. And I think kind of tilted Latifia. 
Crooked chest burst. Yeah, works out. Oh my god, that heat knuckle was a call out. Hammerfall, Red RC. <gasps> Sorry, did... What the fuck happened here? I swear to god, it did... Crooked just did something very cursed, I feel. So, heat knuckle. Once let's see from the ground for the slide hit. Hammerfall forward. Red RC. Okay, we need to watch this like very slow here. Let's just like get the burst. And then Mega Fist and Burst. Okay, let's let's watch this at a very slow speed so we can figure out what the fuck's going on here. Okay, we're hammer falling you know, heat noggle, that's good back dashed. Slide head. Your gut broken. Hammer fall in. Unblock. Forward drift red RC. Walk for okay, it was the walk forward animation that threw me. Okay. Okay. Garuda. 6H. Slide head doesn't reach. Jump H just reaches. And Kurokich is now in the mix up. But gets a counter hit that also killed Eddie. Which is very powerful. Jumping in and gets the empty jump low throw. Oh my god, jumping in with the pot buster and there's the kill. Empty jump throw is very powerful. Oh. oh boy. I love seeing Kurokic fight. He is a very interesting player to watch. Okay. So, final game of this uh, Losers Finals. And um, it's backdash. Going in. Okay. Jump page, just blocking the fast slash down. Yeah, let's see, it feels very aggressive right now. Gets a back throw. Garuda gets bursted immediately, which is smart. That's how you get off that. Oh, claps the uh, frog, but let's see, sadly blocks the gold burst there. Okay, yep, 2s to 6k. Do not let him bully you. Blo just block that. Um, Slide head. Combo into the heavenly pot buster. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Kurokich is a monster. Love seeing it. Ooh, fucking hell. He's getting killed. Damn. Okay. Jumping into 2H. Let's see if like really called Kurokich out there. Going in close. Are we just gonna see Latif and uh, Kurokic in the mixer here? Uh, is that just what's gonna happen? Yeah, looks like it. Yep, damn thing. Get the pierce, and we are going in, and we're breaking the wall with the amorphous. Yep. Perfect. Okay, and we're jumping, doing the good old guilty gear footsies. Oh my god, claps Eddie out of the... Uh, I think he was in the middle of doing a frog. And yeah, Krukic... Oh, slide head getting punished. 6k killing Eddie once again. 6p. I mean... Oh, slide head once again getting punished. That's... That is very unfortunate. I think Latif realized the Krukic was kind of gambling on slide head a lot of the time. And that is what Latif is currently punishing. And damned thing, this shouldn't kill, but it did actually. No, yeah, yeah, fa fa. And that is the loser's final. Um. And now, in a little bit, we have the winner's finals, which I will just queue up. Um. 
and then I will take a short break um, as my body needs that uh, later. This is how it goes. But I want to get it ready so that we are ready to go when I have returned. So I'm going to put it in break mode and I will be back in a little bit.
Hello, lovely people. I hope you spent the break productive, like me, going to the washroom or getting some water. I have some right here. It's not that full, but I have like a big fucking thing of water here. So stay hydrated, kids. It's important. So now, grand or finals. The thief was a slash. Always happy to see it. I was uh, watching this with Salem, um, another commentator. Commentated the winners' finals of this actually. Um, she is uh, what we refer to as a uh, May degenerate. You can actually like, um, if you wanna watch some of stuff, there it is in chat. Uh, she's lovely. Uh, do a lot of stuff with her, and um, we were watching this because just like hang out watching the rest of the event after we've commentated it and. Mad, we were popping off for Slash here. It, it was so cool to see him win because we've had so many like Slash Latif Grand Finals and Latif has been coming out on top and it was so cool to see Slash win for once. And uh, yeah, that like that really made the, the evening for at least the two of us, I think. So let's go. Immediate counter poke with the two S's. Okay, let's get our bench running in high speed here. A oh, killing Eddie immediately. That's once. That's, we're doing a fucking counter now. In here. Kills Eddie with the burst. That's twice. It's the PRC. Summon Eddie. Has Eddie behind uh, Latif, so Sludge actually kind of can't kill Eddie right now. Blocking the low. Oh my god, the 5k. Kills Eddie for a third time with the free king and does the burst from Latif. That's the damned fang. Get that kill. Jumping out with jump just jump P catches. Keep slash in the corner. I love seeing those that's from Latif when people try to jump out. Latif just follows them out and pushes them back in. That's so cool to see. And the amorphous kills here. So that's actually a pretty pretty good round for um, Latif, but there were three Eddie kills. Uh, immediate start of Dolphin going in. 5H, Dolphin. Run up, overhead kiss. You are in the corner, you are getting bounced. Uh, that combo was meterless, just by the way. Um, Sending out Eddie, tries to kill Eddie, but the space between the pieces was filled. Because um, Latif knew Slash was going to do something. Executor X, fills up the Eddie gauge. Lovely stuff. Slash has so much meter though. Kills, uh, trades with Eddie for a fourth kill. 3k and Red RC. 6k, Red RC upwards to take it. And 6h, <laughs> Dolphin. And there we go. It's even. So, 4 Eddie kills so far. Okay. Let's see. Ah, oh, the 3k gets a post. Pierces are hitting. Disburst. burst. Okay, just blocking. Kills Eddie with the 2p. That's a fifth time. Jumping over. Trade. Oh, 5H not doing much there. Red RC pickup. This is burst safe now. Break the wall with the fucking beach ball. Okay. Okay. This is Slash. Just running May Gaming here. But also uh, countering Latif very well. And having a great defense. <gasps> no overhead. That's the gold burst from Latif. Sending out the Executor X. Jumping, jump page trades uh, with the uh, drill and kills Hedy for a sixth time. 3k. Lariat, Red RC, and death. Okay, okay, okay. This is uh, this is good to see, man. Let's see if it's really... No, Slash is really kind of running this. And I, I love seeing it. Also, I'm still kind of dead over the fact that some homie in chat just came in and was like, Where's Slash from? Uh, Saudi Arabia. 
you know, the flex are there. And she's just like, oh, I, they both have it, and I didn't know that was Saudi Arabia's flag, so I just assumed it was a stream graphic, <laughs> which is just so fucking funny. So some homie uh, learned uh, that that flag is, in fact, Saudi Arabia's flag. Oh, uh, SAE, Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabian Emirates, Emirates? Not sure. Uh, my English not be great. Um, yeah. I know that just really made me giggle. Um, running in to us, gets the counter hit dolphin. Yep, burst immediately. Oh my god, kills Eddie for a seventh time. Okay. Oh my god, trade. And that's the executor X, break the wall. Was that actually, was the Eddie gate even low here? Oh no, yeah, that was fully emptied. Okay, okay. Okay, just, you know, making sure, I, like, I think it's important to see, wait, was that actually the, like, optimal decision to make here? Oh my god, <laughs> on someone on the Pierce and then damn thing, yeah. Okay, getting in for another damn thing. PRC, yeah, this is, seems very burst safe. Frog breaks the wall, nice. Yeah, there's no health back there for slash. Just 3k in, going in. Close slash, Larry at PRC, close slash, Dolphin, 5h. Oh my god, this kills. Slash, you God damn thief. Oh my god. I love it. Man, watching Slash play is so fun. Dash that jumping over. Close Slash. Hit your feet. With punish. Oh my god. It's expected an Eddie someone with the 5H there. Kills Eddie with the burst for a ninth time there. Okay. Oh, the PRC and then the low. Oh my god. Yeah, Slash is a, Slash is a goddamn highway robber. robber like, my fucking fantasy novel. It's fucked up. Okay. On so oh, immediately as Eddie Gage runs out, we get the command grab. PRC... For better okay probably yeah drill and break the wall of 6h damn that just hit the tip of her feet i feel 3k send in the dolphin oh slash is just waiting for let's see if to summon eddie so that slash can kill eddie executor x and 5p 3k good no eddie killed that round but Damn. I also think it's Latif having... Latif is fearing that Eddie will get killed. So Latif is having to navigate Eddie around that. And that is leading to Latif not being in as powerful positions as Latif wants to be in. Yep, oh, I hit Chaos. That is a wall break combo and a very hurt Sato. Uh, make aiming. Um, Dolphin and 6p whiffs. PRC back. Earthquake. Okay. Trying to mash out with the fast slash. Or a bar, eh? I think. Another PS. We are now sandwiching. And yep, 5d hits. And x, x, x. Good. Oh, and immediate back dash. No damn thing. Oh, the fucking alien throw. It's so cool. Oh, that damn thing was... Oh, it looked properly timed, but that Orca is not throwable. Sometimes you gotta wake up super. Gold burst from Latif. Round start. Wow. Blocks it. Yeah, Slash hasn't needed to kill Eddie for a while. That's the ninth. Um, and the Grand Finals. 3k, 2p, red RC. Oh my god, jump dust, okay. 
Oh my god, a 10th kill on Eddie. Which just, that really handicaps Sato so much. Oh, counter hit fast slash up PS up RC. And yeah, here we, nah, this doesn't kill right yet. No, no, she needs one more. Yeah. yeah. Going in. Yep, Amorphous PRC. Wake up. Just blocking low. Backdash kills Eddie for an 11th time. Two fat JPs. Lows. Just looking for one more. Opposes out. Backdashing through the PS so you don't get sandwiched. PRC in. Oh, still gets hit by the Abare. 6P oh, just whiffs. Okay, 2S, PS, PS, 2S hits. We're sandwiched and there's the damned thing. And I think that is... No, no. Yeah, no, no this kills. This kills. Okay, Jesus Christ. <sighs> Fuck, I love watching these two play. It's very interesting to see. 5H, there we go. Overhead kiss. You are now going to be put in the corner. Oh, no. Burst to the... <laughs> Uh, beach ball, but that's 6H hits. No, okay, boom. Ouch, what a painful death. Jump in, jump H, Lariat, 2S hits. Oh, Dolphin gets punched out by the um, Pierce. 3K kills Eddie for 12th time, 3K down, and 6K doesn't hit YRC. We're blocking and Dolphin takes it as let's see if we're busy summoning some stuff. <sighs> Man, watching let Slash and Latif have a very deliberate like playstyle to get line. It's very fun to see actually. I really enjoyed the I expected way more Eddie kills, honestly, but what we saw was that Eddie just like, Latif just started respecting the fact that Eddie is going to get killed and had to navigate around that. And I think that put Slash in more powerful situations and made uh, the Sato pressure just less powerful because Latif was fearing the that Eddie was going to get killed and that Latif was going to have to be alone on the battlefield, right? So that shaped that matchup quite a lot, actually. So... A little thing we were looking at earlier was um, how uh, at Sato's moves and breaking the wall. And I want to look at Axel's here. So for finding like what is uh, actually Axel's highest damage like move. 52 for 5p. Um, but yeah, that is 5p at tip range. 5p is actually 40 damage with the same as close slash, which surprises me. 5h, that's 48 which is a little better than Uncharged Dust, but less than Charged Dust. Uh, but has better startup than Tap Dust here. Um, damn, 50, the same as 6k actually. 6h is 54. Uh, damn, tip range 5p and 6k is actually good ways to break the wall for me. Um, but uh, the best is kind of 6, uh, 6H or tip range 2H for the 58. Um, jump H is 52. Yeah, okay. Uh, special moves. Uh, yeah. Winter Cherry is like 60, but you don't get that. Okay, wait, 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 why are these damage... Oh, okay, okay. Okay, damage changes on point blank. <laughs> From 61 to 62 damage. Um, Axel Bombo is the best way to break the wall, as it is 9 frame startup and 80 damage. So I should probably learn to do that. Because that is a... Big amount of damage compared to what I currently use, which is 5H, which is 50. So I could actually get 30 extra damage in my combos if I practice that. 
So I'm actually gonna have to give that a look. Um, so this is again like the small things you can get by just looking at damage numbers for your character, right? Um, and please, Dust Loop is a great resource for so stuff like that. And just like thinking about it, it's like very interesting. There's also the like strategy things. Oh, this has been updated. I actually need to like probably have a look for that. Nah, nah, I have read most of this before. This is the best way to learn how to do a TK Bomber. It's a great guide. Uh, here's how you fight Axel. Very important. Specific stuff. For as Axel against other characters. Yeah. Dust Loop is a very good resource. And I recommend it highly. Um, so. That is all for me for now. Uh, here at the GXN Streaming Emporium. I just want to stream of the... Actually, let's have a look at the Arc Revo standings just quickly. Um... Because, yeah, Latif is still first, Slash is still in second, Skull third, Euro Legion fourth, then Leffen, then Kurakich, Sando, and then Sim, SSF, Yari. Warrior by Saint up here being, is honestly cool to me because I've seen Warrior by Saint around a lot. Um, so it's great to see more of them. And then we have Gamba in a shared 10th. That's like, how's the like stuff around here looking then? Yeah, uh, Barry Bones, Citizen, Pinhead, Smoid, Seno, Boomano. Actually, I haven't seen Boomano around. Yamini, Anbi, Wolfman, haven't seen a lot. Akarine with a great picture. Wow. Yang, True Devon. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Like, the, the top tiers are stacked. I, I am. Um, I am not. I am happy that I am not the one trying to compete for this. So, thank you people for watching. It's been a joy. If you have more Jake's End needs, you can find all of uh, stuff for that at jakesend.com. I have Twitter, I have YouTube where I do stuff. I'm trying to do more music streams here. Um, it's probably not for you if you are here right now, but I quite enjoy it. I like talking about it in the same way that I like talking about fighting games, because uh, it's something I'm very passionate about. Um, and... Uh, just to prove it, I do have a guitar with an arm reach at basically all times. Because I fucking love that shit. So, thank you for today. Goodbye, good night, and see you over at um, Salty EU tonight at 7 p.m. Where I will be. Uh, Jesus, is it just Salty EU? So I am going to be commentating the Melty Blood Type Bluminer tournament tonight. Probably alongside Jasper Valkyrie and Just Dave. Both lovely people who I've commentated with before. And who are very knowledgeable about the game. And we're going to have a fucking blast. Because that is what we do over at Salty EU. So if you're interested in that, please go check that out. Now, that is all for me. Take care. Goodbye. I love you.